The HAL AMCA, or Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, represents one of the most ambitious defense projects in India's aviation history, aiming to deliver a fully indigenous fifth-generation fighter jet capable of matching or even surpassing the global standards set by aircraft like the American F-35, Russian Su-57, and China's J-20. Designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency ADA, in collaboration with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, the AMCA is not just another combat aircraft but rather a transformative leap in India's defense capabilities. This stealth fighter will serve as a multi-role platform capable of air superiority, ground strike, electronic warfare, and deep penetration strike missions, ensuring that the Indian Air Force has the tools to counter both regional and global threats well into the mid-21st century. Its design philosophy centers around low observability, high survivability, advanced avionics, and superior weapon integration, which are the hallmarks of a true fifth-generation aircraft. The AMCA is being designed with stealth as its foundation, featuring radar-absorbent materials, an angular airframe that reduces radar cross-section, serpentine air intakes to hide engine blades from radar detection, and an internal weapons bay that allows it to carry missiles and bombs without compromising stealth. The aircraft will initially fly with the American GEF-414 engines, which are already being manufactured in India under a co-production deal, but plans are in place for a future indigenous or jointly developed 110 kN class engine to provide enhanced thrust and true supercruise capability. Supercruise, the ability to fly at supersonic speeds without using afterburners, will be one of the defining features that gives the AMCA an edge in both combat efficiency and fuel economy. The maximum speed is expected to exceed Mach 2, while its range and endurance will make it suitable for long-distance missions across the Indian Ocean and beyond, a necessity given India's increasing focus on regional security. In terms of avionics, the AMCA is envisioned as a sensor powerhouse, integrating an active electronically scanned array AESA radar, infrared search and track IRST systems, electronic warfare suites, and advanced communication networks. The cockpit will be entirely glass-based, with augmented reality heads-up displays, touch-enabled interfaces, and artificial intelligence-assisted decision-making. This combination will allow the pilot to focus on mission execution while the aircraft itself handles threat detection, target prioritization, and data fusion from multiple sources. Another futuristic feature of the AMCA is its planned ability to network seamlessly with unmanned combat aerial vehicles UCAVs, particularly India's upcoming Loyal Wingman drones, which could serve as escorts, scouts, or strike platforms controlled by the AMCA pilot. This integration pushes the AMCA into the early sixth generation S. Weapons integration will make the AMCA a true multirole MK3 beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, smart precision-guided bombs, and future hypersonic weapons like BrahMos Ang. In non-stealth missions where maximum firepower is required, the aircraft can carry weapons on external hardpoints, giving it flexibility between survivability and strike capability. The design also considers naval applications, meaning a future carrier-borne version of the AMCA could eventually strengthen the Indian Navy's air wing. 2026-2027, with the maiden flight around 2028-2029. If all goes as scheduled, limited production may start early in the 2030s, with full-scale induction around 2035. The Indian Air Force has already indicated a requirement for at least 120 to 200 AMCAs, which would make it one of the largest indigenous fighter acquisitions in history. When operational, the AMCA will replace aging jets like the Mirage 2000, Jaguar, and eventually the Su-30 MKI while flying alongside the Rafale, Tejas MK2, and unmanned platforms, creating a balanced and modern combat fleet. More than just a weapon, the AMCA symbolizes India's determination to achieve self-reliance in high-end defense technology, reduce dependence on foreign suppliers, and emerge as a leader in advanced aerospace development.